Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Ward and welcome to this inbox review. We're going to be taking a look at a lovely Boeing FA-18ME Super Hornet. Now this is by Ming Models, it's in 148 scale and you know it's a fairly newish tool. It was new tooled in 2020 so not bad. It's going to cost you around about £70. Pounds. Um, so let's have a look inside and see if it is worth it. Now, lovely box art, as you can see, we've got two markings right, just on the box art just there, just to show you. We'll see if there's any more inside. So let's open this up. There we go. We've got there in the end. So first, sprues will just jump straight in with um, some surface detail. Right, we have um, the top part of our fuselage and wing section. So let's see what we have. Well, straight away, we will see we've got some nice recess panel lines, recess rivets, got some nice detail going on around this, right? Going over that 90 degree angle, we do still seem to have good crisp recess panel lines as well, which is good to see even around this exhaust area i have built the hazagawi one um, in 148 scale as well so i've got a good good one to compare this against so as you can see really good good detail um this is the underside right and again we have good detail going on all around as you can see lovely lovely detail and um, i can actually just slightly bring this together just to actually show you maybe a couple of the challenges you would have with this kit now there is like these locator pins just just here um bill Bedro actually built this and said it's actually a really good good model as well uh, give me a second right finally got those in their location holes there which kind of really locks it in um by itself um, as you could see fit is looking rather rather good there at the back now this is the you get this with the hazagori kit as well and that is we have this join line running all the way along there i mean maybe a bit of a press together and as you can see that was those, those little gaps go away looks pretty pretty good um this is kind of like something that again with the hazagori it was the same sort of problem we covered it in the step by step we did of it um you know it's this here we're gonna you'd have to sort of you know fill sand and rescribe all this area to get rid of that kind of join line if you wanted to go for that it is on the underside if you're, you're not too too picky about it um, but moving along we have again this is going to be the hazagawi the same which is our exhaust area just here now you can see lovely surface detail again just like the rest of the kit but what's going to happen is just here it's going to be uh, going on around about there hopefully as you can just see there um, and that is also going to be another sort of join line area to sort of take care of again we had to do with Azagewi filling sanding scribing um, I, I know this is a new kit I mean I, I don't think it's really um, Ming's fault on this one I think it's just the shape of the FA-18s you know they, they're such a complex shape that to kind of the manufacturers to put it together in the way it goes it's just going to have those little um, bug areas but anyway we have the fuselage section just here again lovely surface detail going all the way along there we even have our um, instrument display panel again lovely detail with that and i do believe there's loads of nice little bits of um, decals to do those um, uh, instrument display panels as well um, moving along yes there's a couple of little bits and bobs on this sprue but we will uh, move along um, I'm not going to get all the plastic out of their bags because there's a lot of plastic to get through but yes we have um, ailerons flaps and some tail sections as well going on with that next sprue we have here which um, we, we get to see the air intakes I mean here are air intakes but yes there are eject pin marks inside there so if you wanted to like you know get rid of those eject pin marks so it's all nice and smooth down there that is one thing you'll have to do with that we do have absolutely gorgeous um wheel well detail i mean hopefully you can sort of see 
the level of detail all those little wires and hose and stuff they look so so crisp right and because the whole um wheel well section is all sort of like a bit like building up a bit of a box you know every wall is going to have detail on it and lovely detail at like that so i could just imagine that look looking absolutely gorgeous when it's all built together we do have our um landing gear bits just here loads of detail on there again very crisp like the rest of the kit we have some wheels right hopefully you can see there looking rather rather good uh flip this over i'm not seeing on the landing gear bits any sort of nasty photo etch sorry photo etch sorry um eject pin marks in nasty places looking all good bit of a wheel well door just here as well no eject pin marks in those areas looking very impressive actually i am rather impressed by this kit so far um <clears throat> again i'm not going to get all the bits out of the plastic uh, all the sprues out there packets but a bit of the um, wing section just there um, we've seen the level of detail already we have two identical sprues just on here which just has like fuel tanks couple more wheels um, nothing major to write home about there uh, we also have a real nice array, uh, a nice ish array of weapons we do have some uh, sidewinders Hopefully as you can see there, nice couple of side ones. We've got two there. I think there's the X and M variant. So we've got two of each of the different variants. Then we have three of our sparrows. Right, they look snazzy as well. And we've got two types of, of bombs to put on here as well. Two of each of them, which should look rather rather cool. Uh, so those are the bunch of weapons you get. Um, moving along, we have a little couple more bags just going on here. We have our cockpit tub itself. So hopefully you can see just on there, we do have uh, loads of nice little buttons and everything. So yes, once we get all that instrument display panel in there, should look rather rather good. Um, just put that away. Uh, then we have so just a couple of clear parts just here, which is. Um, just stuff like looks like to be like the noses to our um, uh, missiles and stuff so you can have the bit of clear parts just going on there <clears throat> then we have our main clear part the canopy itself which is nicely um, separately bagged and wrapped up in this cling film here is the main part of the canopy which looking on camera looks really nice and crystal clear but if I put it up to the light uh, it's looking mega crystal clear really really nice some of the top top crystal clear canopies I've seen we do have that little seam line that goes down the middle there so that needs to be kind of like knocked back sanded and repolished a little bit of a shame but you know what that's how some of the nice big um, canopies go shall we say right moving along we have last but not least is um, the paper stuff and we have also we do get poly caps right and we also get these little kind of like pins um, and this is just so as you can remove your fuel tanks your weapons you take them on and off as much as you like so the next thing we have is we have this description. I haven't really seen this before, but it's like some really funky, really good quality paper, nicely printed off, but you've got it in different languages. And it's really, I mean, as cool as the quality of the paper is and stuff, it's just a brief description of the aircraft. Um, a bit overkill maybe but that is that uh, we do have a nice big decal or decal sheet just just here which um hopefully you could see you know it's got good good color and everything we do have um all those um instrument spray panels just going on there so that'll be good for the cockpit area um it is printed it, it is printed by cartograph so a good decaling company go well with micro salt and set but yeah those look like a lot of nice markings on there we do also get some stencils as well Ooh, 
we do get some um, canopy masks and wheel can uh, wheel masks as well to kind of save on that kind of work area we do get a little bit of photo etch just with with this which i believe you know there's our exhaust area and i think that's a bit of cockpit detail as well so really really cool does look very good we then have what looks like to be almost like a catalog kind of quality style instruction booklet really good um, art on the front we move along and it is very nicely colored in for us we have um it does show us where all the decals go for our instrument display panel which is rather rather cool um, we do get the color call outs here for ak paints right and then it does actually kind of show you those colors um actually in the cockpit area as well which is rather cool does seem to be quite straightforward showing you that we have the nose landing gear bay forward fuselage assembly just here which you know that is going to look gorgeous i've seen the detail on that um as you've seen looks very very nice that is going to build together really cool and look really really well detailed um, and then that goes on top of the, um, the, the the cockpit section and the two front fuselage sections will come together and close up pretty much like the Hazegawi build in a sense now we do sort of nicely get the option here so um, and it does clearly show you I mean it, it tells you um, what section you're doing it shows you um, wings unfolded position wings folded position uh, and what pieces to swap out to kind of do that as well um, we have the air intake section again it's all nicely colored nice little descriptions and detail bits to sort of get you through doing this now as i said here this is going to be just at the back here that's going to be like a fill sand and scribe area right when this air intake comes together and that's just generally the shape of the aircraft as i say um, bringing the front fuselage section to the rear part of it bringing them together it does look like we've got poly caps at the back here so it does look like the tail section can be moving um, then it's it's quite good because it goes in quite a bit of detail of showing you you know say your flaps positions right of how it should be in the retracted position if we turn over it will show you in the extended position so you've got that good good choice really kind of have whatever dynamic pose you want and then it goes on to show you you know the wings folded and not folded and you know how to sort of build that all together and and all your flaps and slats that go along with that as well um, so yeah then we have the vertical fins just here which can be moving which again more of a dynamic pose we can get going on here uh, clearly showing you where decals go as we go along there's the landing gear um, landing gear and you know even just silly little things like a nice little description here of like just telling you that the edges are to be painted red around our wheel well doors right so you know it's all those little things that kind of build up to make a, a nice set of instructions um, moving along yes we have those pins I was on about that go into the poly cap so you can um, switch out your weapon so you could build all the weapons that you get with this kit and you know change the um, change the loadout as you go along as you, you so wish um, <clears throat> moving along yes we're, we're seeing all the weapons sort of go on here um, um, then it gets us to start doing the ejector seat which is kind of nice in a way because you know you put the ejector seat in last normally when it comes to scale modeling uh, really clearly showing the colors and the, where the decals go on that um, and then they've got a pilot with this also and also the canopy to be in open or closed position as well as a nice set of ladders that you can have with this as well whether you have them on or not uh, moving along it will then guide you through uh, the wheel masks which is nice as well as some light masks and i think like the the sensors um, the clear parts as well as our canopy section nice canopy mask as well then we have four sets of markings with this kit so you can just pause if you want to see but um, looks like the decals lots of decals but um, just seem to show you where they all go all right and moving along we have another set of markings just there and then another set and another set it almost looks like we've got two showboats and two sort of standard going on there so quite a nice little choice there and it'll go through the weapons and um, where all the decals and whatnot goes with the weapons and the pylons then it will show you all the colors that you would be using with this build 
So there it is, quite a lot to get through, quite a lot of plastic. Now I did say this was a 70 pounds kit, which is probably around about what you'd pay for the Hazagawa um, um, FA18 Super Hornet. So really, I mean, I've got to say it's a really big thumbs up and I'm actually really, really impressed. Um, and I'd, I haven't built it, but from what I've heard, it goes together very well. And I, I, I'd go as far to say this is probably the best FA-18 um, that you could build in 148 scale. I do think it beats the Hazard Gary one now, because looking at it, the detail looks absolutely gorgeous. Lovely, lovely decals. Um, canopies look really, really well. Um, apparently, it fits really good also. Um, just everything about it just looks really, really nice and just seems to be that nice little bit better than the, the old Hazard Gower one. So, yeah, definitely a big, big thumbs up. Definitely worth the money. Um, love to build another one of these, and if I did, it would be the Ming one. So, um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully I've um, helped you decide whether you'd want to go out and get it or not. But as always, until next time, my name is Bob Waldron, this is Genesis Models, and I hope you've enjoyed.